Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. Ooh, that's right. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for subscribing and for watching, guys. Today we're going to talk about the four must have Oculus Go accessories. You may not have bought one yet, but you may sincerely have to consider you must consider it it's such a cool device it's not the only standalone vr headset anymore however it is the best number one most recommended vr headset to buy right now so uh, we're going to talk about these guys here they're all wrapped up all mysterious accessories must have don't you love it when you receive stuff and you don't know what's inside and you get to unwrap it it's a bit like your birthday or a bit like you know Christmas a little bit but I did buy all of these with my hard-earned cash by the way a couple big ones but this one here the smallest one is probably the most important accessory you could potentially buy you could possibly buy or have to buy or must buy for your okay, let's go first all right without further ado let's get on with the unwrapping Oh, so this looks like the Oculus Go facial interface and foam replacement. That's pretty cool. So basically, if the inside of the Oculus Go gets too dirty or you need to replace it, then this is the foam replacement. And the VR cover, let me put this more in the light, they do using some kind of leather, so it's easier to actually wash. So that's pretty cool, it's pretty neat, we'll try that later. And they also gave some hygiene solution. Oh, this came with it too, okay. So this is my replacement strap because it can get worn and torn. So this is the other part of the strap. So as you can see, the Oculus Go itself, this is not leather at all. This is some kind of fabric that needs to be washed by hand. So this one, I can just put inside and wash it easily. And then for the strap, as I was just showing you, I've been using mine now for, since it's recording, about seven months. So you see it gets worn and torn when you put it on and put it off. So it's good to buy a replacement. And then this replacement also is made with some kind of uh, leathery material. So it should be more resistant and easier to clean. And this one is not, it's uh, just uh, some, some fabric. Okay, so this is the travel case. A must have if you're traveling with your Go. At least you protect it. So I can see here that I have a space to put the Go. So I just put it in like so, like here. And then here I'll put the controller and here, here are some other things. So that's pretty neat. It's a kind of a soft box, but it's a hard. You can tell. So at least this will keep things nice and neat. And then I can just, like that, carry it. So that's pretty cool, very useful. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty neat. Quite happy with that. Only 10 bucks, I think, something like that. So pretty useful. And there's also a uh, net in here. So you can put some more things here, your charger or whatever, cool. So this is actually for the remote. It's a silicon skin. Check it out. 
So there are two colors you can buy. You can buy black or you can buy gray. I bought a gray, it's cheaper. I don't need black. Also, it will go with the color of my current remote. So you see, at the moment, it's very soft. So if I'm sweating or something like that, it could really easily slip off my hand. So at least I can just do, just put this in here. There we go. It feels, yeah, it feels a bit rubbery, I guess. It still feels a little bit soft, but I'm guessing that with time, it does feel much more tactile though. And it fits nice and snug. I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's a little elevation here. But otherwise I know where I'm, at least I know where I'm uh, putting my thumb. And then my trigger's here, the back button and the recenter button is here. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. This was a few bucks, two, three bucks, I think, or four. Singapore dollars. Yeah, nice, cool. So this is probably the number one thing that you want to buy for your Oculus Go. And basically it's a magnetic USB and I'll show you why you want to get this. Okay, so of course you want to charge your Oculus Go, uh, but you also sometimes, because the battery only lasts about 2.5 hours. So if you want to extend the battery, all you do is you plug it into your power bank or computer or the mains. What you want is you want to be able to, because you're going to plug it in and out very, very often, right? And that is actually a very sensitive part of the Oculus. So let me show you, let's get it out. So this is the port here that you put it in. It's very sensitive. If this breaks, you're done. That's it. You have to throw away your Oculus or buy a new one. I mean, because this is the most important part as well as the headphone jack, of course, but I couldn't find a magnetic one. So what you do is you un unhook it and put the magnetic piece inside. Done, that's it. So now I never have to put anything inside or anything out of it ever again so it's nice and secure okay and then when i'm charging it if someone you know if i happen to trip or or something like that then at least hop it just comes off i don't have to worry about the wire being ah and then you know i have an accident or something at least it's nice enough and i don't have to worry about breaking my oculus so this is actually the magnetic usb is the number one and most important thing I would get for the Oculus because the strap is going to take a few months to to you know to have to replace this here. Honestly, you can wash it you know by hand or put it in the machine. There's no issue. Uh, you can replace this within a few weeks if you wanted to. And then of course the controller, you don't have to replace that straight away either uh, because I mean personally for me I, I don't use it for games. I use it for you know, practical applications. So none of the practical applications mean I have to do this. Uh, it's generally tack, tack, click, 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 click. So it never really falls out of, you know, it feels like it's about to fall out of, of my hand. So yeah, very cool. Those are your top four accessories for the Oculus Go, the world's first standalone VR headset. All right, so today we looked at the four most important accessories for the Oculus Go. I just put inside my new VR cover with the new headset strap. And I have to say, it feels so much more steady on my head. It feels much more professional and I don't know, it just feels better. Mm. I, can, I can smell the, the leather as well. So remember, this is the world's first and best standalone VR headset still on the market. That's right, I said it. Even though there is the Quest, this is still numero uno. Okay guys, remember to like, give some thumbs up and subscribe. Leave some comments below. Ding! as many ideas and suggestions. Uh, I hope that these accessories and this review helped you. I will leave some links in the description below so you can go and buy them yourself. I bought them from Shopee because I'm here in Singapore, but I'll also put some Amazon links as well. Please do let me know what kind of things you want me to review. There's plenty coming. Remember, this is part of a 10 to 14 video course for beginners and those that are curious to get into VR. I'll be teaching you guys and showing you guys all the best content, all the free apps out there. So until next time, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Take it easy, DJ Q Music.